Good evening everybody, it's Rebecca from Chow and Chatter. Uh, this is really cool, I'm using my husband's iPhone 4 to do a video blog. I just was so curious to see if it would work and I can upload it to YouTube here, really cool. So I was invited to the product launch of this product, Eat, Think, Smile. It's a line of products that uses cocoa uh, because of its high antioxidant power and they've made some granola bars, some like crisps and some granola chips. The company is a subsidiary, subsidiary, sorry, I can't even speak, of Hershey's and this is going to be a healthy line for them. I have mixed feelings as a blogger when bloggers are invited to these kind of product launches because ultimately it's a marketing ploy. Um, however, it was very hospitable. It was fun to meet local bloggers. And they did listen to our suggestions because apparently North Carolina is a testing market for this product. One of the things I would personally like to see is the actual cocoa just to buy, to make smoothies with it, to add to oatmeal, to add to cakes, to get the antioxidant benefit without having to buy granola, which tends to be high in calories. Also, I thought they could do a, a breakfast cereal. I thought that would do well for them. So also, as an app developer who's trying so hard to get the word out about the app, who's kind of having um, fair sales, but not great, although on the one hand I can say, oh, I don't really want to do a blog post to help promote a company. Um, I wish I had a PR company working for me who did a launch party as good as that um, for my app. So... I think the take home is, if you get invited to one of these events, go ahead, check it out, but don't feel any obligation to tweet or to do a blog post unless you like the product and you feel that you've been listened to and um, you think you'd like to share it. Um, it's a two-way street, so if you, if you think it's a good product, go ahead. If you don't, don't worry about it. However, I guess all marketers need a helping hand. I think it's a good product, but as I said, I would personally rather buy the cocoa powder. And it really is just the same cocoa powder that is in all Hershey's products. I don't think there's any magic bullet there, because we know cocoa is healthy, but we can get it in just cocoa anyways, but that's just my take home. Also, a lot of the people there were saying that they'd like to see it being organic. And my big push is I want to know that cocoa is sustainable from the sources they're getting it from. So that in 100 years we're still getting the cocoa from those parts of Africa or along the equator. So that's my take home from the Eat, Think, Smile launch party of this product. Which is going to be marketed in Lowe's Foods in North Carolina. And the cool thing is I will put my hats off to this company. They're coming to our State Dietetic Association meeting in the spring and they're going to be a sponsor. So, thank you so much. <laughs> I've run out.